All right, giddy up. Beginning of a new era. We do have the set information for Uma Musume. There are a hundred cards. And actually, uh, we did get word that uh, there are going to be a hundred parallel rares. That is right. Everything in the set is going to have uh, some sort of foiling. There are going to be 76 super rares, 12 triple rares, 12 SP cards. So not everybody is going to have an SP card. There are also going to be exclusive illustrations created for this set. There are... Yeah, all eight SP cards have been revealed as well. Um, there are also eight first and second cards. This is Neo Standard with the other Uma Musume set. So here we are. Here we have all of the, the SP cards. All eight of them. And that is what we're going to be uh, reading right now. Is Does anybody... Does anybody like Uma Musume? Everyone comment your favorite horse. Mine. Damn. I don't know. Mayonnaise Top Gun. Meijiro McQueen. Hell yeah, Stratos. Right, Shower? Oh, my people. I do have Uma Musume fans. All right. Uh, again, it's coming out in English. Uh, I will be picking it up. Absolutely. Also, I keep forgetting. I did go to the cosplay meetup for Uma Musume at Anime Expo. I need to upload that video. Oh, no, the video's uploaded. I just need to make it public. I found out that they don't like it when you loot their characters, so I'm less of a fan than I was. Hey, at least you're honest. All right, Fuji Kiseki. You cannot tell me that this is not... Oh, man, what's that character? Mahiro from Idolmaster? Mashiro? I believe that's her name. You know the one. You know the one. You can't tell me that's not her. All right, so... Here we go. There's the sign card. All right. When your other character enters the stage from your hand and there are no markers underneath that character, you may put up to one marker under this card to the bottom of that character face down as a marker. If you do, discard the rest of the markers. Inheritance is their marker system. Okay. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Because. Oh, shit. Pay one, tap self, mill five? There's no way. It is. Pay one, tap self, mill five? If you hit a climax, salvage one. Keywords, mom picked me up, I'm scared. Max salvage one? And she has a soul trigger. Dude, okay, the White Schwarz now is a completely different game than like before COVID. Like that's insane. Yeah, choose one character from your waiting room, just add it to your hand. All right, so it's just, just a single one. All right, here's Jungle Pocket. Jungle Beyond the Limit, Jungle Pocket. Oh, she's, a, she's actually a climax combo. We're gonna read hers last. We're going to read Meisho. Uh, to be the next one she admires. Uh, when this card attacks, choose another character and they gain 1k5 power for the turn. And then, ooh. When this card is sent from the stage to the waiting room, you could pay one, put the top card of your deck in your clock. Look at the top two cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to two characters among them. Shown in your opponent. Add it to your hand. Ditch the rest. Ooh. It is uh, the Aqua Effect. I don't even think soul triggers are part of the power calculation the set designs anymore. Yeah, they're just giving everybody a soul trigger now. Hey, this is the great utility. And then on attack, give a character, right? Choose one of your other characters. So you can't give it to yourself. Uh, but yeah, on attack, you can side attack, give a character 1k5 power. And then uh, when it's sent to the waiting room, pay one, top deck clock, top check two, add up to two characters. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. That's damn good. All right. Uh, this one... Uh, has a climax combo, so we're gonna read that one last. She's a 3 2. That one has a climax combo. That one has a climax combo. Shit, they all have like climax combos essentially. All right, we're gonna scroll up. We're gonna read the non climax combo of uh, Top Road. Narita Top Road. Carrying the thoughts, Narita Top Road. Why does she look like Ilya? She like legit like looks like Ilya. Uh, at the start of your encore step, you could pay to ditch a card if you do burn, <laughs> burn one. What? At the start of your encore step, pay two, ditch one, burn one. I, that's fine. That's, I'm cool with that. So, all right, so change. At the start of your draw phase, you could send this card to the waiting room. If you do, choose up to one Uma character in your waiting room, place it on stage. That this card's former slot, and then this card gains, and that card gains 3k power. Whoa. Okay, so the, the change is not on any specific character. It's not on any specific character. It's just at the start of your draw phase. If this is still on board, just send it to your waiting room. Choose a Uma Musume character from your waiting room. Put it on board. They gain 3k power. It's at the start of your draw phase, so this does need to survive. I like it. I fucking love. I fucking love this. This, this is this is damn good. Because you could snag, like your other 
your other um, climax combos. I mean, if you summon a level three, are you really surviving? I've done worse. I've 100% done worse. All right, let's see what jungle does. Uh, during your turn, this card gains 3k power. So, all right, so 11k, 12k on climax. I'm assuming it's going to be a, a choice. Uh, when this card is placed on stage from your hand, choose one of the following two effects and resolve it. Heal one. That's nah, fucking busted. Ditch a card. Put the top card of your clock underneath this face up as a marker. So then it'll, so it'll have a marker. All right, and then climax combo. When this card attacks, if you have, I will be going ahead. I'm assuming it's a choice. We haven't gotten the climax combo yet. If you have two or more other Uma Musume characters, burn one to your opponent X times, where X is equal to one if there's two or less markers underneath this, and two if three or more, and three if four or more. So it's just like a burn effect, depending on how many markers you, you get underneath it. How do we get markers, though? That's the thing. That's how I want to know. Uh, let me know in chat if there's any cards in the current Uma set that, gets, that nets us markers. I'm certain there should be. Uh, so it is burn one if there's two or less the brainstorm does give the marker So we do have a way of doing that. So like on play get marker something. All right. All right. Co color me intrigued Color me intrigued. All right. Let's see what uh, Opera does uh, It looks like it has on play heal. Yes on play heal for TM opera zero. What is he a, a Pokemon the Pokemon item? All right, so uh, when this card attacks if you have Trials of Champions Path in play, if there's a marker underneath this card and you have another character, you could pay one, ditch one. If you look at the top card of your deck, then declare number and burn X. X is equal to the number you declared. What? Uh, isn't, um, oh my god, um... Maid Dragon. Doesn't Maid Dragon have this exact card? Or something similar to it. You look at the top card of your deck. You declare a number. Then you burn equal to the number that you declared. Yeah, the Toru. Toru does do that. Yep, Toru probably gold bar as well. Yeah, I, I'm a I'm a sucker for card for like fun card effects like this. Yeah, I'm I'm building opera. TM item TM Opera Zero. Alright, let's see. Manhattan Cafe. My girl, Manhattan Cafe. Let's see what she does. Uh, during your turn, if you have another character, this gains 3k power. All right, so she is going to be at 6k5. Um, when the... I definitely will catch up is in play. We don't know if it's a door or a standby. If this is in your front row, if you have two or more other characters, you search your deck for two characters. Your opponent chooses one of those characters, you send it to the waiting room. So add the rest to your hand, then you shuffle your deck. If there's a marker underneath this card, choose an Uma character in your waiting room, add it to your hand. I think it's standby. I think it might be a standby because of the, uh, if this is in your front row, I think that, that kind of like, that's like standby language, you know? That's definitely standby language. All right, so if it has a marker, search your deck, your opponent chooses one, you add to your hand, then you ditch the other one. And if this has a marker, you salvage a character as well. All right, that's pretty solid. I would like to know if it's it's probably on a standby, um, but we will uh, have to wait and see. Agnes Tachyon. There was an Agnes uh, a, a cosplayer in uh, the cosplay meetup. Agnes Tachyon. All right. She's 3-2. Has a climax combo as well. Uh, when this is placed on stage from your hand, top check two cards from the top of your deck. Choose one card among them. Add it to your hand. Send the rest of the waiting room. It's just two? Yeah, top check two. Top check two cards on top of your deck. Add a card. It's typically three. Let's see what she does. I mean, that might be uh, a clue as to why. Climax combo. When this card attacks, if you have as instinct in play, you can pay one. If you do, choose one of the following two effects. We currently don't have the climax. It could be a door. It could be a standby. It could be a stock soul. If you're level three and your opponent is level two with four or more in clock, Ditch two cards. If you ditch two, your opponent chooses one card in their clock and sends it to their level. And send the rest of their clock to the waiting room. What the fuck? Or burn two. If your opponent is level two with four or more in clock, your opponent grabs a card in their clock, puts it in their level. Then they heal then they send everything to the to the waiting room. Or burn two. I mean, still on attack, pay one, burn two is still pretty good. It's still, it's that, that pay one, burn two, still really good. All right. Reaches for damage. 
it auto levels them when the when you attack. Absolutely, Lancer Lynx is correct. There is still your swing. So on attack, pay one. You level your opponent straight to to level uh, level three. Then you still got your swing. If you have another uh, Agnes Tachyon, uh, attack, pay one, burn two, swing, attack, pay one, burn two. You could definitely try field this. Yeah, this is th this is great. This holy shit! Wow, Th I could I could see this on a standby, so that way, um, the uh, you you don't gain the extra soul to make it quote more balanced, but. We gotta remember, Bushy Road did create Sokka. If if this is on a door, holy shit, it's fantastic. Uh, but it, it's it's probably gonna be on a standby. I think, I think it's gonna be on a standby. Uh, we are gonna have to wait and see. Sokka is usually no problem when playing Uma. It's it, on a it's a pay one. I'm sure Uma is gonna be fine. Uma Musume is gonna be just fine. Level attack, burn two attack, burn two. Attack. It's good. It's... The, the, I'm gonna... For lunchboxes pick of the week? Um, this, this... People are gonna be running this. Hold up. Let, 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 let's take it back. Let me read the actual... Let me read the other Climax combos. Let's see what Don Su... Center of the stage. Don Su Flame. Uh, if you have four or more characters, early play. Uh, amazing. Fantastic. Does it heal? During your turn, this wait, hold the fuck up, hold the phone, wait a minute, hold up, hold up, 3k power, 3 soul, Bushy Road is printing a lot, a lot of 3 soul, alright, so she got 3k power, 3 soul, she gains 8k power during your turn, so that's what, 11k power with 3 soul, alright, alright, at the end of this card's attack, choose one of your other Uma Musume characters, send it underneath uh, this card, as a marker. If you do, you may put the top card of your deck in your stock. So you blind stock. So you essentially like pay for half of its stock. You have to have an, a character on board. You play it for more. You play it, stock a character, or like marker a character, and then you blind stocks. So you are paying for half. Uh, you are swinging for three soul. I guess in a sense is like, yeah, you're getting like a marker and you're losing a character, but this card still has three soul. Um, I guess that's like the way... That it makes it like a little balance. If this set has good counters and accelerate, I could see this being the finisher. This, this, this is pretty good. Wait, that is it. That is all the level three combos. This one's pretty good. This one's this one's pretty good. This one's okay. Uh, this one's funny. This is the lunchbox five nine thirty uh climax combo. This is everybody else's combo. All right. Th this I I could I already I already know people are gonna try. Uh, the Agnes Tachyon work. All right. Well, color me intrigued. I will be buying this in JP because I don't think this is going to come to English. Maybe it might come to English Y Shores. It did go to Shadowverse. So it might come to English Y Shores. I would like for it to come to English Y Shores. Um, the game is coming to English. So we're going to have to wait and see. There's also like a Switch game also coming to English. Um, I don't remember what that one is called, but that is coming to English as well. Oh, well, we're going to have to wait and see. Uma, Uma Musum is damn good. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Love these cards. All right. Let me know in the forums below um, or if you're live on the side, uh, what Uma Musume card uh, is your favorite? You know, also comment who your favorite horse is. There, there, there has to be like a term for like Oshi, but for like Uma Musume. If you do know that term, maybe RDR is going to comment on it. Uh, let me know. Uh, but yeah, this the Uma Uma's lo looking pretty good. Uma's looking pretty good. And that is where we're going to end today's stream.